Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. We are bringing an amazing bundle your way today. All right, so we are giving out a free background. Let me show you. We are giving out a free background pack of 100 free backgrounds that I want to give out to you free as a photographer, as a retoucher. This background is going to take your work to the next level. Amazing dramatic backgrounds that you can use on your workflow. Just as much as your mind can create, you can be able to create anything from here. And remember, it's totally, totally free. All right, so to further go on, we're going to be giving you a walkthrough on how you can apply it on your own images. This technique works on any type of plain backgrounds that you're using it for your studio portraits. So we are going to be using this image right here to give you a walkthrough on how to apply it on your own studio portraits. Remember, it's free. But to get the password, you need to watch through the video, be able to get the password to, to unlock it when you download. Okay, so that was too much of your time. The first thing we're going to be doing is to select this image and you already know what I'm going to do, select subject. So I'm going to pick select subject and wait for Photoshop to do its magic. All right, so one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select a mask. I'm going to go to select a mask and click on refine hair so that if there's any, uh, any color, the yellow spills in the color in the hair rather, it's going to take it away. And to, after doing that, so you need to come to the output setting and make sure that selection is selected. Do not use select new layer with mask. Just pick selection and press OK. So it's going to just save with an active selection. To, so after doing that, press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. Duplicate your background layer, right? Click on the image, go to layer via cut. This procedure is very important. So make sure that your image layer is up directly above your background layer. Then click on your background layer to place the background in between your image and the background. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to locate the one that I feel will work on the image very well. So I think I saw one. Okay, so I'm going to be using this one here. Yeah? I'll just drag it and drop it over the image like this. So when you drop it, you scale in, just scale it in in such a way that if she's standing in that background in real life, where is she going to be positioned? So I think she's going to be positioned somewhere around here. So I'm going to scale in a little more like that. Beautiful. So you can actually drag, drag it around, change your composition. Maybe you can flip the chair over to the other side, but I think it's not a good composition there. So I'm going to be using it like this gives me a better composition like this. Okay, so press OK. With the background loaded, I know it's looking quite unrealistic right now, but it's, here is the magic. Change the blend mode to soft light and look at that. So if you think it's not working, I think the yellow is a bit too bright for soft light. So you can just hover over your blend modes to find the one that works perfectly for it. I think I love this one. I think I love that one. Look at the color bomb, amazing. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking with multiply. I'm going to be sticking with multiply. See the way it's looking realistic. The shadows are perfectly intact. But if you feel like you are losing a lot of shadow, you can come over to your background, to your background layer right here. Create a mask for it. Take up your brush. Take up your brush and introduce some part of the original shadow. I think the shadows are just there already. But in case if we are using soft light, it's not going to give us back the shadow. Let me off the mask. So you're going to notice that the shadow is not as deep as it was with the mask. So if you are using soft light, this is what you will get. Sorry, that was I wasn't supposed to change that soft light. I should have changed my background, not my layer. Okay, so this is the soft light. So you notice that if I off the layer mask, we are losing the shadow. We are losing the shadow, which is not uh, advisable. So to avoid that, make sure that you create a layer mask for your original background layer and clean out the original shadow from the image. So I'm going back to my multiply, going back to multiply. I think I'll need to reduce the opacity a little just for a little more blending. So zoom in on your image to make sure that you're not having any yellow halos over your image. So I think I'm having some yellow spills on her hair. So to correct that, just go to your hue and saturation. Go to your hue and saturation. You can actually use your hand picker tool and select any of the hair parts and reduce your the saturation look at that you can drop down the brightness a little or increase it i think increasing is too much just drop it down a little so one thing you are going to notice is that 
it's not just taking care of the yellow in the hair it's taking care of the yellow at below the arm as well let me off the hue and saturation so there was a yellow spill on the arm it's taking care of it as well so you just go through and make sure you're having a good selection so having done that i noticed that i missed a part of her hand here selection was too much so what i'm going to do is just to restore it how to, how do you restore it the activate some of the layers so you will know exactly where the hand is so the hand was lost direct directly on the studio background so what i'm going to do is to create a mask on top of the uh, create a mask for the studio background and take your brush zoom in and just restore that area back and we are going just like this beautiful okay so just like that we'll have it restored go over to this side look at the edge restore it back restore it back we are good i noticed a bit of our clothes here restore this one back as well all right so this is how you can clearly change your studio background from flat background to amazing dramatic background look at the image let me do before and after so you will see everything okay so this was the image when we entered photoshop after separating it and all of that we we're able to achieve this thank you for watching this amazing video do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and make sure you get the password to be able to download to be able to download uh to be able to download to use the background when you download it so one more thing i want to do i just noticed is that i need to apply a global color gradient on it to make the whole thing come together and to do that we are equally giving out a free lot pack that is amazing to get it just watch the video in the description or just up here at the link you are going to see the video click over it on how you can apply this lot on your own image we're probably giving it out for free so how do you do that go to your color lookups load it load it look at it over here so i'll just pick anyone that suits the image this is beautiful so remember that this lot is for free to so get to know how to use it and how to uh get the password to the lot when you download it click in the description on uh, the video in the description below to get access to it i think i love this one i love this one you see the way it's glowing her skin it's making everything blend in look at the skin tone look at the chair it's making the whole thing look uniform so thank you for watching this amazing video see you on our next video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and ring the bell to always get notified every single time we drop a new video remember these backgrounds are for free thank you